Hey, good morning, my friends. Um, I know I said I had to uh, take care of the stuff I've already got here, but yesterday I did I did go out shopping. I was trying to go to the post office. So while I was out, I had to stop at the niche and go to the Goodwill. And, uh, so I just wanted to share with you some of the things that uh, that I purchased yesterday. Now, um, I did use a half-off card when I was at the Goodwill. So everything that I show you from the Goodwill is actually half off the price that that I that I tell you it is. So um, first things I bought though I went to I went to the niche and the first things I bought there I'll show you it's just bad I bought a bag of books. Oh, here they are. I bought a bag of books while I was there. Oh, shaking everything. But uh, it was three dollars a bag. So I I grabbed them. We got these little New Testaments. Um, I have a couple other ones of these around. A while back when I was looking them up, they were they were selling really decent for these little things. So uh, I think they're all pretty much originally given away by the Gideons, but I don't know if you can still get them. But I think the ones that really, I think the ones that sell really well are the old uh, Gideons used to use the King James version. And I, I don't know if I don't think they still do. I think they use something different now. And I think that might be why, why they, why they sell. Although I can't really see. Got any keys in there? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But um, yeah, they usually they used to sell pretty good. I don't know if they still do or not. I just grabbed them because it was three dollars a bag, so I just grabbed them. Anyway, okay. So I got those and. What else do I got? I got uh, over here. This is a, a Trailblazer book. It's a uh, kids book. I think I think they're. Oh yeah, this is about some missionaries, Adoram and Ann Judson. And uh, Trailblazer books. I sold some of these before a long time ago. I don't remember. I don't know what I got for them, but I just grabbed that one in case I had any other ones around because I tend to do that. Horrible Harry. I have. So I have a lot of these horrible Harrys up. They've been up for a long time. They used to sell really good, but maybe I don't have enough books in the lot, so I grabbed this one. Hopefully, I don't already have that one. And then Arch Books. One of my very first uh, pretty decent sales was Arch Books. I bought. I had a bunch of Arch Books that. Where I got them? I got them at a Goodwill in Mentorsville, Pennsylvania. That that Goodwill ain't there anymore. No but uh, oh, this is probably. 99 or, or maybe 2000, year 2000. I mean, it was probably from the year 2000. Uh, Y2K there. And um, I, think, I think they were 49 cents each or something like that. I might have got them on sale, I'm not sure. No, I think they were, at the time, I think they were 29 cents. Maybe they were 29 cents each. It was a while ago. But anyway, I ended up getting, uh, I think it was 18 of them. And I ended up getting like $70 for them or something like that. I don't think they sell that well anymore, so I don't, you know, but I already have some, so I'm just going to lot them up, lot that one up with the other ones, if I have enough. And, uh, these, these other, these children's books that are kind of, uh, I guess they're made, are they made by Golden? Yeah, they're done by, they're published by Golden and Shape, Shape Books. Yeah, Golden, the Shape Books. They used to be pretty good too, so I, I just got them. I don't know if they still do or not. I didn't bother to look them up, so. Uh, I can always just re-donate them for three bucks. And then I'm, I bought this Gremlins book. So, Phoebe Cates. I love Phoebe Cates. She was cool. So, um, oh. and then a couple of kids' books. The Power Boys. I don't know if you ever heard of them. Power Boys. Uh, together, I don't know if they'll sell very well, but I'm, gonna, I, I'm just going to put them up at like 10, 15 bucks to see what happens. Sometimes they, sometimes I have to sit on them for a while. And then I've got an Animorphs book. That's because, uh, I actually had another one of those New Testaments. I have some other Animorphs books, so I'll, I'll just put them together in a lot. So sometimes they, they do really well, sometimes they, they don't. So I don't know what, I don't know what the different thing is there, but, uh, but I'll just hold on to them until I get a decent place for them. So. And then, 
these uh, these these things were huge. I think like in the nineties or whatever. There was a, these things. They just they just pump these things out. And um, the last time I looked them up, they really weren't doing very well. I looked them up this time, and at three dollars a bag, I just grabbed them. Um, the prices were kind of across the board. I have a stack of them, probably twice as high uh, that I have. So. Uh, I'll just stick these ones with those ones, if unless, they're, unless they're all doubles, some of them might be, I don't know. But, yeah, so then, uh, that'll take care of those. And they're just classics, usually. I mean, that's Count of Monte Cristo, Call of the Wild, Swiss Family Robinson, Dream, The Sand of the Earth, I don't know. They're just classic. That's what they are. Great illustrated classics. I forgot to put my headphones on, so I hope the sound on this is pretty decent. Okay, what else did I buy? I bought, alright, that, those, the books were from Niche, okay, so I paid $3 a bag for them. So this came from the, the Goodwill, the rest of the stuff came from the Goodwill in Wellsboro. And, uh, this is, uh, it says Diplomat Candle, Square of OT, Glass, Ambassador Cards, Division of Hallmark, Made in Japan. That's, uh, just, it's a ruby red. I think, I don't think it's flashed, but it might be. I don't think the colors flashed on, but anyway, um, it was 79 cents. So I, you know, like I said, they, they were, everything was half off of that. So um, I'm planning on listing this for 14.95, like I do my other votees, because I just am. And then I got these two green bowls. Um, this one says this one's from this one's Arca Rock. This one doesn't have a name on it. Doesn't have a mark on it either, so I don't know what it is. But a lot of these are anchor hawking, probably is older. Since it doesn't have a mark, I'm, I'm assuming it's an older one, but it may not be. But this is Arca Rock, so I I don't know when they. I don't. Um, it's exactly that old. They're 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 made different, but it's the green color that I like. So they look nice in the window. All right, and then. We've got a Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen VHS. I lot them up. Uh, just slot them into groups. They used to they used to actually do really, really well and then for a while they weren't doing anything. And then uh, last time I looked them up they they weren't bad. I mean they weren't they weren't, you know, really kicking, but they weren't um, they weren't that bad, so. And then okay. There was this. It was a uh seven ninety nine on the on the thing. And it says Mo Mo Light. I don't know, can you read that? Mo Light. Now this particular lamp, it's a light fixture, it's a ceiling light fixture. This particular one I did not, I did not find when I was, when I was there and I wasn't going to get it, but then I decided I was going to use a half off card so I just sort of went ahead and grabbed it. But um, it's just, it's a ceiling light, maybe, maybe on a wall, you can put it on a wall maybe, like that, and, you know, with that, that copper on it, and um, yeah. So I just thought it was neat, and that copper color like that. I, I figure somebody's gonna want that. Gonna want that. These are the other ones that I saw were like 30, 40, 50 bucks for ones. They weren't. They weren't like this one. This this one's different than all those. So I don't know what this one will go for. But I'm gonna I'm gonna list it. I think I'm gonna start it at like I don't know, 40, 49, 99. See what happens. Put best offer on. See what I get for it. I usually the the the, the copper color stuff I usually do okay with. So. Um, they actually usually sell pretty decent. So. And then I picked up these uh, uh, these shoe stretchers, I guess they are, something like that. They're, you know, this was a dollar ninety nine. Um, again, half off of that. So uh, my wife just wanted these for because uh, she's got shoes that she sells. So she just wanted she told me to get these when I saw them at a decent price. So. I actually had some that I did sell before she told me she wanted them, but they were Nordstrom and Bostonian. They had actually they had wooden. The back handles were wooden, either plastic. The back handles were wooden, and they, they said one said Nordstrom and one said Bostonian. I got twenty dollars a piece for those ones. So if I did want to sell these, I don't know if I what I get more, but I set those aside for this for stuff. And then there was a Miss Rotata head, some stuff inside there. So uh, I just I have some other stuff. I'll just lock that up. Uh, the other potato head stuff when I 
I don't think I have it put anywhere in particular, so I'm getting a little better at organizing stuff as I go, but yeah, if you guys are new on this thing, if you don't get organized right away, you probably never will, so unless you can do some major things, I, I would, uh, I just, yeah, yeah, so, alright, and then I bought this, uh, it's a, like a sewing a sewing bag thing there. See that? It was a dollar twenty nine. Half off that. And uh, it has a it has like a little snag right there. There's one here and there's a little tear down here on the bottom of this down there. But at that price I thought maybe you know I'd just get it because some people I've I've sold just the just the frame before. I sold the frame before for twenty bucks a while back so I'm, you know maybe not just like this one but similar. So, you know, that's probably what I'll do is I'll sell it mainly for the frame and try to get something, something out of it that way. Uh, so, yeah, that's the plan on that. And then this laser tag. I sold, I sold the, the guns before for, I think, I might, I might, I told you, I think I told you in one of my other, my other videos, one of my, uh, I probably told, I probably showed you the, the sales on them, I think they were 20, 25 bucks, something like that, for just guns. So this was, I just had five bucks on it, um, and they were selling pretty decent. I mean, uh, anywhere depending on what, what I mean, when I looked it up, the, there was all different types of conditions and everything like that. The highest one, which I'm assuming was a new one, was over a hundred dollars, which was probably for a sealed one that wasn't have been opened yet. It was like 125 or something like that. So it was pretty good. But, uh, yeah, they were anywhere from like 25 to 50 or whatever, just just for a gun. So, uh, yeah, I think I did all right with that. I think I should be able to make some money on that one. I'm going to leave it all in here all screwy. Uh, yeah. All right, and then get this ankle, ankle brace. Again, it's half off. It was, it was $1.29. So actually, the red stickers were half off. So you get half off the red, and I'm pretty sure when you use your car, you get half off them. They don't give you half off the clearance stuff when the stuff is like, you know, okay, like this would be 35 cents if it was next week, um, if it was still there. And you know, I don't think you don't get half off off the clearance, but you get, I think you get half off the half off. I'm not positive on that, but I could look on my. I could look on my sticker and see. No, I don't know if they. I think they just go by the total. I'm not sure. Yeah. So yeah. So that was what I saw. I saw one of those. Most of those ankle bra lace lace up ankle bra bracelets like that one were in different packaging. But I did see one package like that one. It, it was it was twelve fifty uh, with free shipping. So it's really light. It'll go first class. So it'll probably be around. I'm I'm just guessing it'll probably be. 30 to ship, maybe 260. Fortunately, it might be 260. It might be, it might be six ounces. So we'll see. But um, I just grabbed it because it was, it was cheap and it should be pretty easy. And then this this gadget, and there was a, a USB powered VGA splitter. I looked this on it. I looked at this on Amazon. And there's 99 cents and a half off of that, of course. Um, I scanned it with power with uh, Profit Banding, and I like Profit Banding more than I don't. I don't. I don't really like the Amazon seller app, even though it's free. I just like Profit Banding, so I was gonna get rid of it, but I just don't like the way I don't like the way the Amazon app works. But that's just me. I'm not saying the Amazon is bad. It's just I'm. Probably just because I'm used to Profit Bandit for Amazon, the seller app was doing anything. So, anyway, this, I think, I think it was around, I think the profit on this was, geez, let me look, let me look real quick. Let me see if I can come up with it real quick. Profit Bandit. Scan. 
Yeah, they had a Rolodex, a little electronic Rolodex down there too, but I, I didn't grab that. I should have. Now I think about it. I forgot that I used the half off. Yeah, there you can see. Maybe. The green is supposed to be the profit on it, 1990. So, and look at the rank is 46.11, so I'm thinking that's pretty good. Uh, I'll just try Merchant Fulfill uh, and see what happens. I, I have a I have a bag of stuff to go to to go to FBA. I just have to, I haven't got around to send it in. So yeah. So hopefully hopefully yeah, I'll make 19 bucks on that. Hopefully next. Well, okay, 19 because I figured it'd be cents. Um. These are just shelf brackets. I sold some of these not not too long. I forget how long ago it was now, but I did sell some of them. So these are 79 cents and half off of that. So uh, if you go to Lowe's to buy these, they're probably like 250 a piece or something like that. So think about that. I know when I listed these before. I didn't get a lot. I don't think I got a lot for them, but they didn't. They weren't there very long. I mean, I, they weren't listed very long. Somebody had them, so I know when I was looking for something similar to this, it, was, it wasn't this kind. Uh, they were priced. They they were priced pretty decent when I was looking for them, the ones that I needed. So I mean, it was just easier. It was just cheaper for me just to get them from Lowe's. But yeah, so that happens sometimes. All right. Clue, Harry Potter. This the box is a little, little smooshed. I didn't open this to see because they have a tape shut, so I want to be, I want to heat that tape up so that it peels off there really easy, doesn't, doesn't hurt the, doesn't hurt the box. Although well, there is some other tape on that corner. Okay, that's just some. Anyway, yeah, these so I looked them up, and I think it was thirty bucks. It was twenty nine ninety nine. I think somebody was selling one of these. It was complete. So. uh I paid 99 cents. Most of the games are 99 cents at my goodwill. So, um, if it's not complete, I do have another one. Uh, one I have one that is not complete. So, hopefully, whatever this one doesn't have, that one will have. So, I was going to just print the other one out and just sell it. Sell it on each of the parts. I just haven't got around to it yet. So, that's good. And then, travel. Right? I know it says two dollars and three dollars on there. Those are yard sale stickers. I paid ninety nine cents and uh, didn't open it, but you can you can hear stuff in there. The, the tiles I've actually found lately that the, the, the tile holders are actually selling better than the tiles for me. So I have like a I have a bag with like over a thousand of them up, and I probably have it. I probably have a lot. I probably have a hundred bucks on it. So I haven't sold it because people are coming in cheaper, I guess. But um, he used to be really good with, really good with those. So I figured one day the right person will come along and buy it. In the meantime, it only takes up a little bit of space. So I have like four or five more of these um, that I haven't put in that group yet. I don't know if I will. I might make a different listing and uh, do that if I do it. I might just you know, see you And then we got seen it. This is a friend seen it, and this was also 99 cents. The the tin had the tin has some some scratches and stuff on it. And it doesn't. It doesn't I can't, I'm not gonna be able to say it's new because of that stuff, but everything in here, all this stuff, this it's all sealed. And there's nothing been opened. The postcards are still shrink wrapped. This is sure the, the these cards are shrink wrapped. This die. The only thing that's not shrink wrapped is this is this dice die. So everything else was, was still shrink wrapped. Um, these four four these cards rep, reference cards are still wrapped. So I mean, as far as that, I mean, it, this stuff inside is still new. So I sold one of these last Christmas time. Not this one. It wasn't the metal tin. It was, uh, oh, drop something. It was, uh, 
a regular, it was a regular box. It was a regular senior box. That was a tin. So, uh, I sold that one for, if I remember right, it was either $39.99 or $49.99. I can't remember. And when I looked those ones up, the metal ones were supposed to be doing, were doing more, were doing better. So, I'm hoping that, you know, I, it may have sense, it really doesn't matter. I mean, I could get 20 bucks for it if I wanted to. But I'm, I'm going to shoot probably 50 and see what happens. You know, it's going in on fourth quarter, so uh, hopefully I'll get that listed quick. Yeah. Be done. And then, oh, I bought this. I bought this. Saw this sitting there. It was, it was $7.99 on the tag there. $7.99. And it was already open, but that's a cool latch. I like that latch. You just flick that up. And then it actually, it actually put this down. And it just kind of snaps right on. You don't have to pick up the right. Pretty neat. And it says Vernon inside. I didn't find anything like that, but I thought that's really neat. So I should. I'm thinking. I'm gonna try. To, I'm gonna try to get like. I'm gonna try to just put like. I don't know. Either maybe 19.99 or 29.99 on this. If you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know if you know anything about them. And then it, there, were, this was in there. It's uh, it's a Vivitar. It's got it's got a filter on here, but it's yeah, it's a Vivitar, and it's got a number. I looked up the number, the number on it, and it, it didn't come up. So I have to do, do a little more research on that. And it doesn't look cloudy in there. I don't really see any cloudiness or nothing or anything. So. Hopefully it's good. Well, there. I don't, I don't want to mess with it too much. So, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's older, I guess. I, I I'm assuming. Um, I, I guess I have to do some. I don't know anything about camera equipment, so very very little. But I know for eight bucks, you know, I I I get my money back. I'm pretty sure on just the case or more. And then I did find this one. This is uh, uh, Re Rexagon. Rexagon. Keep wrong way. So, yeah, this was, uh, I think the lowest one I saw was 2250 for this one. So, uh, that's cool. The camera people are pretty cool about stuff. So, And it actually has a, this actually comes out of there. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I guess the only okay, you set your camera on. Okay, cool. And then there wasn't anything down in the bottom, just 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 the bottom. The paper was down there. So there wasn't nothing down there. So uh, this little this little piece come off of right here. But I mean they could super super glue that back on or maybe I'll super glue it back on. That's all it was, it was just glued on there. It's a little sticky yeah. Stick it. Stick that right there. I wonder if that sticky still makes it stick. Anyway, yeah, so, okay, that was that, and what else was there? Close that back up. Okay, oh, and these guys, these were 79 cents each. I don't think these are votives, I think these are just like toothpick holders, kind of, more like toothpick, they could be votives, but... They are, they're an older milk glass and you, and you hold them up to the light, you can see the, you can see the orange fiery, the fiery orange color around the, around the edges there. Um, I found one listing that had one of these and something, and something else. It had another, another milk glass one up. I forget what they were, I think they, I think they went for 15 bucks, I think, for the pair. So, so I'm probably going to, I'm going to, I'm thinking I'm gonna put these up for probably, well, you know I like 14.95 each, so maybe I'll put them up for 29.99 for the pair. Let's see what happens. I mean, I can I can always come down. I can't ever go back up. You know, once, once something once, once something's sold, you just you, you know it's sold. <laughs> All right, and then I bought this. Uh, this was an interesting little conversation piece, which was there. Didn't have a price on it when I, when, when I uh, was plugged, when I pulled it out at the Goodwill and pulled it off the shelf. There wasn't a price on it, so they priced it for me at, at $2.99, which was pretty cool. 
Um, I plugged it in while I was there, and this must have like 1979 Wonder Bread inside, or a lot of dust in there. There is some rust on some of these. I don't know if that'll burn off. I think it might. Some of you know, when you slide the bread in, there's those guides in, inside the toasters to stop the bread from going over onto the onto the burners. But all the burners lit up, and the, you know, of course, the smoke come out of it because there was a lot of dust or something in our old toaster, butter or something in there. But uh, it smoked a little bit. So um, yeah, but I thought it was pretty neat. Looks like 1970s Kenmore. I didn't look it up because you know it's really a buck fifty. So. It's about 50, so I don't really eat bread anymore, though, so I don't really need a toaster. I do have one over here. There was a fellow there, uh, but he was there with his girlfriend, and they thought I had a, had a pretty decent, he had a, he had a nice mohawk. I, you know, for Wellsville, you don't see too many mohawks in Wellsville, Pennsylvania, but, um, but it's a short one. It wasn't, it wasn't a real spiky, it wasn't a real spiky one, but, uh, but I got a kick out of it. So, uh, and he was talking that, you know, what I say, I said, uh, I said to the girl, the one girl, the one girl there, I said, you know, I mentioned the 1970s Wonder Bread, and the fellow turned around and looked at me, I said, you know, I said, the last thing, this, the last time this thing plugged, was plugged in, Sid Vicious was still alive. I don't know if the guy knew who Sid Vicious was or not, but, you know, I just kind of assumed, which is very judgmental of me, I just assumed he was, you know, into punk rock, but then, you know, punk rock was, Sid Vicious died a long time ago, so I don't know if anybody even knows who he is anymore. Who he was. So, this one. But anyway, yeah, the, the, the guy was telling me uh, that they, him and his girlfriend bought a toaster. They bought a new one. It was like 30 bucks for a new one. And it didn't last him like six months. It didn't last six months. So, um, he was talking about old stuff too. So, that's cool to see him in there thrifting. So, this is obviously a plush. It's a monkey. I don't get into too many plushes. I do have a dinosaur upstairs that I haven't done yet. I have a big, giant uh, Care Bear that I haven't listed yet. I think there's something else. Big old Care Bear. But uh, if this guy is... There's his butt. Melissa and Doug, I don't know if you can see that, but you recognize the tag probably. Melissa and Doug, I couldn't find one like him. I did see that there was a gorilla. That was that somebody had sold for like eighty bucks, but uh, I didn't I didn't see a monkey like not like this one. So uh, I don't know what I don't really know what the price it at, but he's pretty neat. So in ninety nine cents for plush. So well, some of them the Webkins and, and the ties they charge a little more for the TYs or whatever. They are. So they charge more for those. I don't I don't mess with those because I I don't I looked them up. They didn't really seem to be that great. This is Sully from Monsters Inc. And you can see, and he's he's got his tag on the bottom, you know, says Disney. And uh, I didn't look him up when I was at the Goodwill because, well, I just figured he must be pretty good. So he is selling. So um, not not as good as I'd hoped, but I should be. I mean, for 99 cents, you know, I should be able to get, you know, 10, 20 bucks for him. So. Not that I really want to get ten bucks for him, I was hoping for more, but I just think he's cute. So and then last I think last last but not least is a purple unicorn. And it is a Barbie. It's got a bar tag on the on the back. I don't know if you can read it. That's not the right side. Barbie, there it is. Barbie. So, um, yeah, that that again was ninety nine cents, and uh, I think they were twenty to thirty, something like that. So, let's hope. Anyway, let's let's hope. I haven't done a lot of plush, so hmm. anyway, I guess that's really all I have for you today. Um, thanks for stopping and and taking your time to to look at my video. I saw a lot of common stuff. I don't I don't saw a lot of real high end things that sell for a lot because I can't find them. If I could find them, I'd buy them. But I can't find them. So not that I don't look or anything like that. I just don't find a lot of them. So you gotta go with the stuff that uh, is gonna make you money in the here and now. So that's what I do.
Um, that's it. So you have a great day and keep listing and I'll keep listing and we'll make money. So see ya.